Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Roth Draw, and today I'm joining Miss Fortune. I've been getting tons of messages and comments wondering when's the next time I'm gonna draw League of Legends champion. So maybe I can do that today, but first, let's visit one of my favorite sushi places. Hey guys, this is James. James is back. Um, we are at Sake Roll Sushi in Glendora. It's one of my favorite sushi places. Oh, this is uh, Master Chef Daryl. Right there. Yeah, oh, there he is. <laughs> and wife is uh, there she is. Hi. Yeah, they are great friends of ours, and maybe Master Chef Daryl can help us with their paint today by helping us with the palette. Yeah, let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Oh, uh, look how it's coming along. begins. That was really good. Thank you so much, Daryl, for your delicious creation. This is my sketch of Misfortune. Yes, I'm actually uh, quite happy with it. I wanted a classic pinup vibe, showing most of the character and showing her weapons. And of course, we took our reference photo, and this is what we came up with. Sushi! Yes, delicious, delicious sushi. Yeah, we'll probably not use everything in here, but there's a lot to choose from. Copy our reference photo. I'm trying to find something that kind of captures my eye, you know, something that looks good. Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, this is the progress of misfortune so far. This is what we had before. Our delicious sushi flipped upside down. I'm trying to build on top, trying to have maybe water right here. There's lots of opportunities we can use, so I'm just trying to pick my battles. I'm gonna see what I can come up with, and I'll check this. Right. I think it's looking pretty cool, you know? We had uh, the sushi picture that I flipped upside down, and then we developed things on top, and this is where we are. Yeah, I'm just trying to play with the colors, you know? Having all the warmth up here, gradually developing to the cool down here. And I'm trying to make big decisions with my strokes. So you can see me, you know, trying to cut the shape. Straight lines and angles. I'm trying to simplify this blouse right here into a triangle shape like that. And this brush right now that I'm using is one of my favorite brushes. You can see it has a lot of color complexity in here. And when we're painting in real life, the color color of the pigment is never truly flat. So I'll include the brush on my gum road, go check it out and grab it for free. I'm just gonna jump back on this and I'll check back soon. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the progress of misfortune so far and it's actually really come together. So we had our delicious sushi base. Just start painting, see what we can come up with. We start defining, defining, and this is where we are. Awesome. So many of you guys want to see a color dodge tutorial. So maybe I can introduce some of the basics here and make a separate video later. Copy my whole image here. So this is our base. And what color dodge does, is add lightness and saturation in the best way possible. See that? Before and after. It's like God shining light rays at your painting. But you have to be careful, you know? Try to avoid choosing such a bright color like this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it kind of blows your painting out, you know? It becomes really wishy-washy. I'm gonna add some shine here, but just a little bit. Like that. You know what? I'm actually gonna save most of this for the actual color dodge step, but I hope you got more of an insight on how it works. I'm just gonna wrap this up and I'll check back soon. It's color dodge time. Oh man, here we go. Here we go. Oh. How do you like my guns? Go, my little girl. Elixir.
I'm really happy how she turned out. Milo got a new outfit, and I got a new haircut. You know, feeling fresh, feeling clean. But I feel like a 12. <laughs> yeah, so if you're interested in bonus content and extended video tutorials, it's a deeper insight into my process and how I brought this piece to life. So if you're interested, come check out my Patreon. And the print winner is Kenji Rono. Yes, congratulations. And if you want a chance to win one of these prints, this episode's question is, what is your favorite fast food? Mine is an In-N-Out, double-double animal style with fries. Sorry, vegans. No judgments, don't hold back. Let me know yours in the comments below and I'll choose the lucky subscriber. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hard at work on the Kickstarter for my book, which launches the end of June, so don't forget to subscribe. Remember, every day is a color dodge day. How do you like my guns?